Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could play a song called Apparently by J. Cole, and we'll end up capoing this on 5th fret to kind of work, work some easy chord options, and we're, we'll walk through some things in reposition there just in case you don't have a capo, and it starts off with this really, really cool bass line actually kind of in the piano part, and if you wanted to kind of follow those notes, you could start 1st fret on the low E string, and this is a little weird rhythmically, you may want to kind of do a down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up kind of an idea. So I'm doing down up and then another up. So down up, up, 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 down up, up. And we end up doing that eight times and then going to an open E and doing that same idea. to kind of back that up with a chord you could start on an F major chord. We'll talk about some really easy options here but normally you do an F major as kind of a first fret bar, second finger on the G, second fret, third finger on the A, third fret, pinky on the D, third fret. And if you strum all those together, ah oh, the happy sound F major. Now if you're just starting out though bar chords are like uh <laughs> then you, you could work an F major seven by doing first finger on the B first fret, a second finger on the G second and then third finger on the D third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, ah, the groovy, happy sounds of F major 7. Now, randomly, there's another F option you may want to have running around in your head called F major 13. If you want to really jazz this up, you do first finger on the G second, second finger on the D third, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. Ah, it's a little bit more unresolved kind of sound um, out of an F major 13. And then for the E note, you may want to back that up with an E minor chord. Normally you do that first finger on the A second, second finger on the D second, and if you strum all those together, ah, oh, the sad sound of the minor. Now you may also dig on adding in third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third, kind of making that E minor seven. And actually, that way you can kind of work from the F major thirteen to the E minor seven, and not have to move the third and the fourth finger if you're looking for some easy options. And you could even follow that same rhythm actually what we were just doing on on the bass line, so kind of that down, up, up, 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 E minor, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, F, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, especially for just supporting your voice, you could kind of work a couple options here. Um, a lot of times with a song like this, I like working something I call a down count, which is where you could kind of do that eight down idea, but you end up doing it twice, which is a little weird. Kind of F, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, F, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, E minor. So I'm doing kind of an eight down count. I'm actually adding a little bit of right hand muting to you, kind of taking the flat of the right hand putting it down on top of the saddle just to kind of make it a little sneaky. Uh, or you can work a lot of other strumming options actually, anything in four can work. But one of my favorite strumming patterns, um, four, 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 like this is down, down, up, up, down. So we do the F major seven, because it's just easier to hold down, and just work that a lot. You'd have down, down, up, down, up, down, F, down, down, up. song will end up doing that pattern twice on the F and then twice on the E minor. So we have an F, down, I was really digging, especially when the drums kick in, on kind of a 16th note feel. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot of the beat, right now we're dividing that beat into two.
two parts with our down, down, up, up, down. One, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a sixteenth note is, is where you divide that into four pieces. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite sixteenth note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And what I mean by that is if you take the F and do it down for four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, that's what you'd be doing on the first beat. And actually, maybe we should hold the F major 7 because it's just easier. And then on the second beat, you'd be doing a down on 1, down on 3, up on 4. So we're going 1, 2, 3, 4, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. Then on the third beat, you do it up on 2, down on 3. So we're going 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, up, down, 1, up, down, 1, up, down. And then on the last beat, you go down, up, down, up, right along with the 1, 2, 3, 4. together. And randomly, as an aside, that rhythm that we started with would kind of be like doing a down on one, up on two, up on four randomly. Down, up, up, down, up. We tried that that whole strum pattern through the F and the E minor. We have the down, down, down. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and you put the capo on 5th fret, then now F is really a B flat major, and your E minor is really an A minor chord. But to take it from the very beginning that way, you may want to work the bass idea, actually kind of that F. First down, of the down, down, up, up, down, up, you could throw a bass note in for the chord. It's so on the F, a major 7, you have a D for a bass. On the F bar, you have a low E for the bass. On the E minor, you have a low E for the bass. So we want to kind of experiment with that, with the bass, down, up, up, down, up. Of 
a bass, down, down, up, a down, down, up, down, for a bass, bass, down, down, up, a down, down, up, down, for a bass, bass, down, down, up, a bass, down, up, down. So we tried it that way. of how you get struck through apparently by Jake Cole. So good luck. Hi wherever you are in YouTube land. This is Munson Summer with Munson Music Live, Munson Guitar Songs, Munson Covers, and Munson Jam Tracks. Thanking you for watching this video and I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you like this video and subscribe to the channel to see lots more like it. I'm always open to your requests. If you have the song that you love, please let me know so I can write it down on the request list so I can add that to it because there are probably other people out there who love that song too and would love to learn how to play it. So thanks so much for all the love that you give me and I hope that you're doing well and, and kind of figuring out how you can talk with the, the instrument. Um, we are a small music shop in the middle of nowhere in South Carolina and, and you're supporting us by, by watching this channel. Really appreciate all that love. So. Best of luck, and I, I, let me know if there's anything that I can do to help you in, in particular, too. I, you can contact me on Facebook. Um, you can leave a message here in the comments section, and I'm, I, I respond to all the comments that, that I get. So, best of luck to you wherever you are.